Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a quick little old wife's tell gender predictions. And then I'm just gonna reveal my gender. How exciting! Um at the end, um I didn't do anything special like a gender reveal, um little surprise thing or anything like that. My family is like Hispanic and it's not just maybe because of that, but it's just not in their like tradition to do anything like that. So I just didn't even bother doing anything like that. So yeah, if you guys wanna hear my gender predictions and old wives tell see what gender was I gonna like predict to have, then stay tuned. Sorry, this glare is like super annoying. I can see it in my um like camera lens. <laughs> it's just so annoying, I'm sorry. Um, I'm just wearing my glasses today, so. Um, so the old wives' tells that I found were like on Pinterest. Here's one of them. And it just gives you like old wives' tells, like if it's, um, your symptom is a boy or a girl. So the first one that it says on here is baby's heart rate is above or below 140. And above is a girl, below is a boy, and from what it looks like, my baby is below 140, so that's a boy. So one point for boy. And then cravings, sweets are for girls and salty is for boys. Um, I don't think I've really had any cravings, really. At first I was craving ice, but I guess that's neither sweet or salty. Um, but I think maybe more sweets because I used to be such a, I mean, more salty. I used to be such a sweet person, like, that's all. That's what I gained weight out of. Um, but, so I would say salty, so that's another point for a boy. And then, morning sickness, yes or no? So yes is for girl, no is for boy. And I did have morning sickness for the first, like, 16 weeks. Um, so that's a point for a girl. And then mood is it says crabby for girl or happy for boy. I've definitely been crabby. I do not want to do anything. I just want to be left alone. So another point for a girl. And skin. Acne is for girl or clear is for a boy. And I don't know if you guys can see. But I literally have broken out so bad this pregnancy. So, acne, another point for a girl. And then, sleeps on the right for a girl or left side for a boy. Okay, so this was like super hard. I don't know why. But I do sleep on my stomach. Not anymore because I'm too big for that. But um, I do sleep on my stomach. So it was kind of like... Neither my right or left side were comfortable, if that makes sense. Um, so I sleep on both, so I can't decide on one for that one. So no point for that one. Headaches, no for girl or yes for boy. And the first, like, I was probably like four or five weeks pregnant. I was getting really bad headaches. So that's one point for a boy. And then, sorry, I still have my, like, stuffy nose from my flu that I got. And then, heartburn. Yes for a girl or no for a boy. And I do have really bad heartburn. I'm actually on Omeprazole 40 milligrams that my doctor prescribed because it's just so bad. It's, like, constant all day. Makes me, TMI, makes me, like, baby barf. It's just not good at all. So that's a point for a girl. And then balance. Stable or clumsy? So I'm like a really clumsy person either way. So I'm guessing that's a point for a boy. And then caring high or low? That, I don't think I'm far enough to tell. But I feel like it's all my belly. So none, I would say. And the next three, I have no idea what they are. It says wedding ring test, Chinese calendar, or baking soda test. I've never heard of the baking soda test. So those I do not know. And then the next thing it says, mommy and daddy think. 
and I honestly think it's a girl because with my first pregnancy I was constantly 24-7 vomiting and with this pregnancy I have vomited only like twice or three times um, and with my first one he's a boy um, I had the vomiting the nausea I my skin cleared up I'd never had any heartburn and I was not fatigued at all um, and when this pregnancy I just feel like completely the opposite I've had morning sickness but like I said I've only vomited like three times and then I've had acid reflux and I've been so tired when I say so tired I mean I can sleep for days and I will still be tired and then acne my skin has just broken out according to the gender predictions girls there was a total of five points and a boy there was a total of four points so according to that I am um, like predicting I am having a girl and da -da 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 -da, I am having a Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it useful, I guess. Every pregnancy is different. Seriously, I learned that. I honestly thought it was a girl because it was different, you know. But it is a boy, so um, these gender predictions are fun. But don't let it get to your head. With my first one, I swear I let it get to my head. And I was with the idea because I honestly just thought it was a girl. And I wanted a girl so bad. And once I found out, I was kind of like sad about it. I know it's kind of bad of me to say, but I was so sad and disappointed of it because um, I really wanted a girl. Um, but with this one, I was okay with whatever. Um, so when we found out it was a boy, I was extremely happy and felt super blessed. And I just thought it was good because I already have a boy, so I know what it is to have a, a boy. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.